Chinese authorities have called for rigorous anti-flooding measures along the Yangtze River as water levels continue to rise following heavy rainfall, the Ministry of Water Resources said. It is Friday the 18th of February 2022. A warm welcome to the channel. James here from the James Neal Cooper channel. Welcome along. And this title was September the 6th, 2020 a year and a half ago and what have the Chinese authorities done for rigorous anti-flooding measures along the Yangtze River? Well, none. Just talk about it and if it's one of their five-year plans, one of their five-year plans, then they will just do nothing about it and descale it like they talked about absolute poverty in China before anything anyone who learned earned less than four hundred dollars per year was that but they just lowered it a little bit so no one is in absolute poverty according to the Chinese authorities yes I'm doing bunny rabbit ears and this is the CCP for you ladies and gentlemen these are the state-owned companies that are dictated by you know who and just talk about it but don't do anything about it because it's going to cost too much money to do anything about it as well even though China has a 2.3 trillion reserve according to the Chinese authorities. The levels continue to concern us. The Free Gorges Reservoir hits full storage capacity for 12 consecutive years. Okay, fantastic, excellent, well done. Now, but if we go to the next slide and we look at the levels, Kutan is at 170.22. The Free Gorges is down a little bit more at 170.06. So it is going down, but is it going down enough in time for the gorges, the reservoir, to be safe? The By May, it should be 145. By April, it should be around about 145. So they've got to discharge close to 25 metres of water now mathematicians can work that out but look at the inflow and outflow it is 6600 does it say there god knows um, uh, on the inflow and the outflow is 7880 Again, it doesn't match up. There can be a small variant, which some people, some subscribers, some viewers have commented on, but not that much. So is there a leak? Is there some damage? Are the turbines not working? Etc. Etc. These things, as I've said quite a few times now, we just don't know. But we can speculate by just doing the mathematics. Now, throughout the years of the Free Gorges Dam, in its very short span of actually operating 100%, um, so-called, is uh, 10 years old, and landslide destroys dam in Free Gorges region. Let's have a little read of this article here. The Free Gorges region has already become disaster prone, according to a chief engineer of the Regional Geological Survey in Sichuan Province's Ge Geology and Mineral Bureau. There are over 5,000 danger points, including c collapses, landslides, dangerous cliffs and banks have been identified. The article continues to say, until July 2011, there were 272 disasters or near misses in the Chongqing area alone. Of these, 243 as the reservoir was filled between 2008 and 2009, and 68% were sudden geological disasters as the result of the Yangtze River Commission restricted water level increases to no more than half a metre a day. In the following two years, 16 and 13 incidents were recorded, but experts warn since 2010 water levels have been kept at 175 for long periods, which may have problems over time. 
which goes to the present day of 2022, the level has been at 170 for a long time. So is this going to see a lot of landslides, mudslides, collapses in one way or another? Because this is the first time for a long time the levels have been kept high and there's no apparent reason apart from the Free Gorges Dam male function. Which leads us to another problem, which is the trash and the garbage that has settled around the Free Gorges Reservoir, around the Free Gorges Dam. This is from Routiers. Thousands of tons of garbage washed down on recent torrential rain, threatening to jam the locks and China's massive Free Gorges Dam as it paces to fit people to stand on it. It's so thick that people can stand on it. Isn't that something amazing? Yeah. <clears throat> so if it's affecting the ship's locks, it's going to be affecting the Free Gorges Dam in itself. There's so much that people can actually stand on it above the water level of 170. That's scary. These were, this was, again, this is not now. I don't know the trash levels now because there's no images coming out of the Free Gorges Dam at all. The satellite image it will possibly show. You remember the um, red and black image I showed maybe four or five days ago. Could that be trash? But if it is, why is it not next to the Free Gorges Dam? What do you think? Yes. A senior official at China's Free Gorges Corporation told China Daily that 3,000 tons of rubbish was being collected at the dam every day, but there was not enough manpower to clean it up. Well, get some more manpower then. Some 50,000 square meters of water, more than half a million square feet, have been covered by trash washed down since the start of the rainy season in July. Again, this is 2022, and these reports are just sort of slowly coming out. This report said, the trash is around 60 centimeters, two feet deep, and some parts compacted that even people can walk on it as well. Don't use your claws if you're going to touch my mouth, okay? Now, one day China will reopen again after the pandemic and people can go and travel. And you may think that you want to pop along to the Free Gorges to have a look at yourself. You'll be more than welcome to, if it's still there, that is. And I just saw this hotel that you can stay in, Yingchang. <laughs> Don't ask me why I put this picture up. I just thought it was quite interesting. Going back into topic related to the Free Gorges Corporation, it's a multinational, multi-international company. Basically, they control a lot of the dams and electricity in China. It's just the name of the Free Gorges. And their corporation has moved to Wuhan in recent months, which we found out again a couple of days ago. But here are some pictures of some other projects that they have around the world. The main one more recently is the one in Pakistan, which is the third picture along. And you can see this picture of one of the dams in Pakistan. I do believe, don't quote me on this, that the Free Gorges Corporation manage. That brings us to a close for today. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, please spend a little bit of time doing the thumbs up. For those people, please check your subscription. Sometimes it gets deleted for some unknown reason. It's not your fault. It's not my fault. It's somebody else's fault there. And a notification because I don't just do videos about the free gorges. Yesterday, I just did a video about the day in the life of or earlier today. I did that. So hit the notification. So when there is a video which comes out that Tokyo and I will be very glad to. <laughs> What? Uh, Tokyo and I will be very glad to share it with you. I'm going to go before Tokyo scratches my chin because his claws are just coming out here. Be well, be safe, be good. Thank you and have a great day wherever you are. Bye-bye for now. Bye. Say goodbye before you want to go. Bye-bye.